What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, I'm going to show you this amazing one-handed hammer that I found in game. Now, this is the Frostner, and I am going to show you how you need to go about getting it and how to craft it as well. But this thing is absolutely amazing, so I decided I wanted to do a test. Now, what I am testing here is I have the Iron Mace that I've upgraded to to level four and I'm gonna fight the first boss with it now this is by no means a bad mace and I'm able to do this very very quickly again I am pretty far into the game and I'm leveled pretty well but I just wanted to show you the speed difference between the iron mace that is fully upgraded and the Frostner mace it is very very quick with the Frostner mace much quicker than it is with this iron mace now, if you're new here, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button, click that bell so you get notified when I upload another tip, trick, or gameplay guide video. So there you go, there you have it. That's the end of the fight with the Iron Mace. So let's jump over and see how quickly I can actually do this with the Frostner Mace or the Frostner Hammer. It looks more like a hammer, but it does do the blunt damage and it is one-handed, so it goes in the Mace or Club category. But here we go, running right in, and I do get an amazing hit on him. It's coming up right, uh, right there it was. That was a pretty amazing hit. I don't know if I got a little bit of extra damage for knockback, but that's the end of the fight. It's much, much quicker than with the Tier 4 Iron Mace. All right, so let's jump into what it's gonna take to craft this guy. You're gonna need 10 Ancient Bark, 30 Silver, five Emir Flesh, and five Freeze Glands. So you're not gonna be getting this mace until you get to the frozen area. And if you're not super lucky to find silver just as you're running around, you are going to need to defeat the third boss in order to get the Wishbone so that you can find the silver easily. The Emir Flesh you actually get from the trader so as long as you found the trader you can buy that at any point in time it costs 120 gold per emir flesh and then the freeze glands you get from fighting the drakes again in the frozen area and what you have to pick up in order to learn the mace is simply picking up a silver ingot so you pick up silver, you put it in the smelter, and then once it's smelted and you pick up that ingot, that's what's going to actually teach you the Frostner Mace. Now, if you haven't found the trader on your game world, definitely be watching my channel in the next couple of days. I'll be showing you everything that the trader has to sell, what it does, and then I'm also going to show you a way to find the trader guaranteed, so just keep an eye out for that video on my channel. All right, so let's look at the stats for the Frostner. Now, mine is upgraded to level two when I took this screenshot. But what I wanna show you is the Frost at 46 and the Spirit at 20. Now, what those things are is they are additional effects that happen against enemies. So the Frost is actually going to slow down any enemy that's alive. So any living enemy is going to be slowed down by Frost. So if you don't kill them, they are going to be slightly frozen in place for a period of time. The Spirit is actually kind of like a poison against anything that's dead. So it does damage over time and it ticks away at their health. Now, I know this might sound like it's kind of an expensive weapon to craft, but trust me when I say this thing has really changed the way that I'm able to play the game. You can see the fooling that I'm fighting right now just is stuck in place and has no opportunity to even hit me. Now, I'm definitely not going to say that this weapon's overpowered in any way. It does level the playing field a little bit. If you've had the opportunity to run across these Laffy Pants Yodas, you know exactly how hard they can be to defeat. And this actually, in a one-on-one -on -one encounter, ends up doing pretty well against them. However, if you get overwhelmed with this thing, you still end up just getting wrecked by these little guys. I don't know how they're so strong or powerful or why they're always laughing when they're running after me but this definitely helps in taking care of those guys 
I can tell you what though, the little Laffy Pants guys do not terrify me as much as their big brother. The brute that you can see off in the distance there scares the living crud out of me and I have no idea how I'm going to go up against it and defeat it. Now I want to know in the comments section of this video, what weapon type are you using and why? What is it about that weapon type that makes you want to use it in particular? And for those of you that are legendary supporters, here you go. I'm going to give you a quick whack moment, or I'm going to get whacked real quick. You can see just how much damage and how quickly that guy attacks. Absolutely insane. If you are not a legendary supporter and you'd like to become one, there's a button below that says join. You can click that for the details. The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. And if you want to continue the fun, there's two videos on the screen. You can pick one of those to watch next. Please don't forget to whack the like button. And if you're new to the channel, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you get notified when I upload another video.